So, can we just put you in our time capsule and carry you back to 1992? This first clip was a woman named Darlene, who had not been out of her house for years. This was her first visit to the outside world, and it was on our show. Take a look as she speaks out for the first time. Darlene tells us this is the first time that she has left her home in five years to go out in, in public. Sitting next to her is her daughter, Sherry, who says she's really worried about mom. Darlene, I know it was very difficult for you to, to come here, but you said you wanted to do it for your daughter. Uh, you haven't been out of the house in five years. What's it like? What, what's happening it's to you? It's very frightening. Are you frightened? Yeah. I find it um, incredible that when I do decide to come out, it's in front of <laughs> you. I mean, I you came out in big time, didn't I, you? Yeah, I could have come out in my hometown and uh, been in front of a lot less people. <laughs> than when I'm going did that to all occur to you after you'd already after came I was out? Already right? on the plane. <laughs> well, that's what I call doing it big time. What? Um... <laughs> We know what it's like to be out. What's it like to live alone? And and are you really in the house? Have you really been in the I'm house? I'm really in the in the house. I have um, I leave the house to go to the doctor's office to get blood work and flu shots and that sort of thing. But they come out to the car and draw the blood. How often and, do you do that? Uh, once every month to three months, I have to go in for blood work and. Um, it got, for a while, I could get in using my cane. I could, you know, I could get to the the back door and they would come and do it, but then I got to where I couldn't even do that. So, um, the wheelchair that you got for me has been liberating, to say the least. Um, I found that it didn't, that just being out was so exhilarating that it didn't bother me as much that people stared or anything like I thought it would. You get, you because get. Because I just hadn't been out in so long, you know, that um, what's it like to be inside the house? Well, you watch a lot of Sally Jesse Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> um, you do cross stitch. Just recently, um, I began taking correspondence courses to get my high school diploma. And you look out the window at the flowers because you can't get out in the garden. And you feel guilty. What do you feel because guilty? Because your family has taken over your life. They do the shopping, they do the cleaning. Um, they cook meals, they prepare meals. Um, there's not much left that I am able to do for myself. And I never thought that I would ever long to do the dishes. And my, I've always had this fantasy, this goal of being able to go to the mall, Town East Mall is a big mall close to Dallas where I live. And sit there and not have anyone notice me. Just to be so ordinary that no one would notice me. And that's really a dream of mine. Now, however, that's been replaced by the fact that my beautiful daughter is finally going to have a grandbaby for me. <laughs> has been absolutely the most rewarding part of my life. My kids are so, I know, I know it sounds just like a, a mother, but I mean, I have been so blessed. I have been so blessed. My kids are thoughtful, considerate. They never gave us any trouble. Uh, didn't always listen to what we tried to tell them, but they managed to stay out of trouble, and they've just been wonderful. And I loved giving birth. I thought it was wonderful and all. And now this is happening to my daughter. 
and it's just to me the most beautiful thing in the world that's gonna and I want to be part of it. We have missed out on so much as mother and daughter just going out and doing things. Especially the last ten years, wouldn't you say probably? Um, you know, all through my childhood she was always there. She was um PTA, um, homeroom mother, booster club and everything, and it was wonderful. And um you know, it's just, I've missed that. I, you know, of course you want that to continue. It's, but, you know, mother and I are so close. We're best friends. I think we're more best friends than we are mother and daughter. And, um, you know, you just, a lot of times I feel like mother lives her life vicariously through me, and which is fine. It's true. You know, but a lot of the times I feel guilty because I'm having to do that for her just as well as I'm sure she feels as guilty doing it. It must be difficult. And there's a brother, too, isn't there? I have two, two brothers. brothers. I had gone and gotten in the shower, and as I was coming out of the shower, I have a stool in the shower that I sit on, and, uh, and as I was coming out, the shower had a door on it, and as I was maneuvering past the door, the foot behind me, I had one foot outside of the shower, and the foot behind me slid straight back behind me. And I was stuck in a squat thrust position with my bad knee bowed oh. up underneath me. And of course, I started, started hollering, and Mark just instantly, you know, he shot out of the bedroom and came and got me. And it was, of course, at the time, I did, I, well, yes, at the time, I apologized. I said, Mark, I'm sorry, because I, I didn't know how he would feel. I mean, I was naked, you know, stuck in the shower, excuse me, and I didn't know how he would feel about that. And he was wonderful. He was just, he's so kind and supportive. My whole family is. But, um... He came in and we didn't, we like to never figure it out how we were going to get me up. And the most frightening thing about it is if, if Mark had not been there. What would have happened? I would have been stuck there till 7.15 the next morning. In the until my husband came home from work with the water running and all. And um, it was really scary. I don't know if I would have lived that long because I was really panicking and really scared in my heart it's been really fast but i would like for other people that are sitting at home to know that i have not given up hope darn right i have lost about 70 pounds and i exercise granted i sit on the foot of my bed and richard simmons has a little tape that's called let's get started and it's all kind of walk aerobics type thing. And I use that, and I have a Tops Club that meets in my home every Saturday. So that's and part that's, of joining the world of getting people to come out and that see That is just... Wow, what a heart-wrenching moment. Now, because of our show, Darlene made her motion picture debut on the film, What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Somebody saw her in her appearance and uh, hired her for the movie. She's become famous for that. She also has had roles on several television shows, including Touched by an Angel, and 92 was the year I did Touched by an Angel.